and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I've got another motorcycle vlog for you, this time in the beautiful forest area of Utrecht near Driebergen and Doorn. This doesn't really like ring any bells probably if you're not Dutch. Just know that the Netherlands is quite a small country and Utrecht is pretty much in the middle. And there's forest there, so it's a very convenient place to just, you know, go away for the weekend and do a nice motorcycle ride. I did this bolt to test out the GoPro on like a more nice area than just, you know, riding to work, basically. <laughs> and also because I really wanted to let my dad have a ride on the back of my bike. Because, you know, we never really did do a real ride before because he didn't have a proper outfit. He didn't have proper gear before. This was, by the way, my first time, therefore, doing a true ride on public roads with someone on the back. And also my first time riding on not asphalt or tiles like basically on like horse grounds which was quite fun but also quite nerve-wracking i don't know if you can notice um but i definitely noticed that during the beginning of this video i'm so very careful in the corners because i was literally just getting used to like having someone on the back and all and like this uh, i'm just not used to it yet but yeah like and throughout the video yeah, i just get more and more like confident with the corners which is just very nice for myself to see but yeah, anyway, I, um, like I said, this was the first time having my dad on the back of my bike for a true ride. I did have him on the back of my bike once before in our own neighborhood, but we were basically going bicycle speed for like 10 minutes before, you know, arriving back home. Um, because I let him borrow some of my stuff and I already had a spare helmet back then, but he didn't really have true gear yet. Because, you know, he's, he's quite a different size than me, so he's not like he can fit into my clothes, you know. So yeah, but now he has proper gear, he has a motorcycle jacket, he has motorcycle jeans, and we can safely go on a nice ride. He enjoyed it, by the way. I did too. But yeah, so uh, we're just going to take a nice ride through the neighborhoods, through the, the course, basically, and just enjoying the views. This was on a Sunday morning, so it was nice and quiet as well.
as you might notice, I sure hope you notice, um, the audio is much, much better now. I have a new microphone. Yeah, you know this feeling when you like buy something and it leads to like more stuff that you have to buy and like your bank account's crying. Basically, I'm at that point right now. Um, as you know, if you've watched more of our videos and are watching this video, you'll know that I've got a GoPro because obviously, well, you know, you could tell this is filmed with an action camera. But yeah, I recently bought a GoPro, the GoPro Hero 12, which uh, at the point where I bought it was the newest one. I think it still is, I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, it's really good, it's really sharp, it has good memory, it's very sturdy, it makes beautiful footage, as you can tell. Uh, but the footage is also pretty freaking heavy and my old laptop turned out to not be able to handle that anymore. It was a gaming laptop, but it was always a, an adequate gaming laptop and never a very good, extremely high-end gaming laptop. Um, but also it was four and a half years old by now. It just couldn't handle it anymore, basically, when I tried to play it. Um, it was literally like it would play a second and then it would stall for a second and it's just impossible to do a voiceover like that like now i'm just you know chatting about anything because this is not really something to like i don't really have like a lot of things to point out other than look it's touch nature um but like if i want to like show you stuff and show you like nice like views of like areas that i want to tell you stuff about and it's nicer if i can actually see what i'm talking about while i'm doing the voiceover and for that my laptop does need to play the footage smoothly because otherwise the timing is just way, way off. So yeah, my old laptop couldn't do that anymore, so I bought a new laptop. And let me tell you, the difference is amazing. Like seriously, when I play Resident Evil 4 Remake now, I can literally, like, it's so, so good. The quality is so good, it's so sharp that I can literally basically count the arm hairs on Leon. Which is an old thing to like, you know, use as an example probably, but anyway. I like it, um, so yeah, that's the thing, but yeah, but then it turned out also that the new laptop doesn't recognize my old microphone, which admittedly I could have sort of expected, I didn't, but I could have expected it because the microphone was never meant to be attached to a laptop in the first place, it was meant to be attached to a camera, um, so it was always a bit of a struggle to get the laptop to recognize it, and it's also a, a pretty aging microphone for now. So my laptop, this new laptop, just doesn't recognize it at all anymore. And I was like, I can either be very difficult and try to like, you know, like I used to do film the voiceover on the DSLR and then copy the footage, but that also proves to be a pro proved to be a problem, by the way, because the DSLR is too old to have a, a micro USB connection, and also this laptop is too new to still take the old SD card that the, that the camera uses. Yeah. Basically, I have a lot of old technology and I really don't want to buy a new DSLR because I don't really do photography. I just use it for makeup tutorials once every week or two or three. I just didn't want to spend money like that. Like, it would just be a waste. So, um, yeah, long story short, I realized I would just have to buy a new microphone. Also, I do have a cable now because my dad, my dad has a lot of old cables. So I do have a cable now, so I can actually connect the uh, camera to the laptop, so I can still do the makeup tutorials. Yes, okay, we got that cleared out. Um, anyway, cleared up, I mean. Yeah. The point is, I had to buy a new microphone because of that reason, so I really hope the audio is nice. Um, this is my first time trying it out, so I just put the echo at the lowest and the volume at the highest. and. Yeah, basically hoping that it will sound good, I have no idea. Um, so yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes, you know. You end up buying something, you end up buying something more, and then you're stuck to buy something else, and then your bank account is right. Um, but yeah, anyway, totally worth it. And here we're like in the middle of a neighborhood again and let me tell you that's one thing they don't tell you about motorcycles or maybe they do i don't know nobody told me at least sometimes traffic lights just don't see you 
they don't notice you. This one didn't notice me. And I cut out all the waiting time, but like literally I had my dad get off the bike and press the button for the um, for the uh, bicycles because it just it just ignored, ignored me basically. And then on the next traffic light, I was literally standing there for like pretty much a full minute before a car pulled up behind me and the car triggered the traffic light, so it finally went green. Seriously, like uh, you don't really have that in big cities, but apparently you do have it here. On the bright side, there was no camera, so I could have just crossed the red light when there was no one there. But I'm I'm, I'm too polite to like I don't want to. I just want the light to turn green. Um, so yeah. Like I said, I cut out all the waiting time because that would be kind of boring. Um, but yeah, anyway, and also if you're also a new rider like me. Um, I can't really give you a lot of advice on riding with another person on your bike because this was literally my first true ride with another person on the back of my bike. But as a beginner, I can tell you the most important thing is to just ride like you would at your riding test, basically. Just ride very safely, obviously, but also ride gently. Don't pull up too fast, don't brake too fast, you'll notice it immediately if you do because it will be very uncomfortable for the person on the back. Um, and if you brake too fast, they're going to slam against your back, which you're going to immediately feel because it's really just not comfortable, like I said. So yeah, just try to prevent that and also make sure you really anticipate, like here at a roundabout, make sure that you really anticipate so you only have to slow down and don't have to make a full stop. There's also a reason why it's a good idea to do it on like a Sunday morning when it's very quiet so you only literally encounter at most one single car at a roundabout and not a whole row of cars. So you can anticipate and just plan it in a way that you won't have to hit the brakes. Seriously, this was a dick move from the car, um, on the, the white car that just passed me by. I was stopped to go to the left and if I were a car he would have just had to stop behind me and literally he should have stopped behind me but instead he put two of his wheels in the... Uh, grass to get past me. Big move. But anyway, let's ignore that and focus on like the nice scenery and the cows and the grass and the trees. Um, but yeah, anyway. But yeah, that's what I love about a bike, by the way. You can just take such nice rides. Like you can take rides with the car, but I always feel like I'm less immersed in the like area around me in the landscape when I'm with the car or with the bike you really feel like you're a part of it you're really riding through it you're focused on the moment you're focused on the road because a car a car is in a way easier and a bike you just need to keep focus on the bike like you need to actually be aware of everything and it's just uh, it's so relaxing in a way because you need to focus it sounds sort of weird but I guess if you also ride a motorcycle you know what I mean it's relaxing because you have to stay focused. You have to stay focused on the moment. You have to stay focused on what you're doing. And in that way, it's so freaking relaxing. Um, but yeah, anyway, I really enjoyed this ride. My dad also really enjoyed this ride. I hope you enjoyed watching this ride. Um, and I'm also planning on taking more rides to Utrecht and other areas of the Netherlands this summer and taking the GoPro along and taking, therefore, you guys along. I'm also planning on in October hopefully to go to the Black Forest in Germany with the bike. It's going to be my longest trip thus far because the training in Germany for like, you know, herping corners that I did that was at basically near the Mosul, which is about five hours away from home. And the part of the Black Forest that I want to go to is seven or eight hours, not sure, but about seven or eight hours away from my home. So that's going to be the first away that I've ever been with a bike. And also it's going to be the longest trip that I've ever done on the bike. So I think that's going to be a nice challenge overall. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's, it's going to be fun. It's also going to lead to more costs, by the way, because I'm also going to end up having to buy um, bags because I don't want to just, I, I can't go away for a week with just one bag. Okay, I can't pack that lightly. <laughs> so yeah, I do want to buy saddle bags or like the side bags, but I'll film it once I get those. Um, so yeah, but anyway, if you don't want to miss that, you can always subscribe to my channel if you'd like. I do uh, moto vlogs, I also do some regular vlogs sometimes. I also do makeup tutorials, gaming videos and whatever else I feel like filming. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It would really help me out because it makes YouTube suggestion videos more often to new people. And for now, as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much for watching. 
I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Okay. Bye! Mooi, hè?